This is a, a composite overwrap to titanium sphere, and this, co this contains the ultra-high pressure helium that pressurizes the uh, propulsion tanks that feed the, the Super Draco engine. This is the, the, the Draco engine, which is a maneuvering thruster, um, and this is essentially the same as the, the one that's, or, or very similar to the one that's on Dragon version 1. And on Dragon version 1, there are 18 of these thrusters for maneuvering uh, in space, as well as controlling the reentry, uh, the, the, the trajectory during reentry. So we have, we have a, a, you know, a bunch of these on uh, version two as well. Um, from a propulsion standpoint, the, the biggest uh, single change for Dragon version two is the addition of the, the Super Draco engines. So th this is really a super powered version of the, the Draco engine, uh, whereas the, the, the Draco engine produces about 100 pounds of thrust uh, each of these engines produce 16,000 pounds of thrust. So, uh, it, hence the super. Uh, <laughs> and th they're in pairs so that uh, if, if one um, malfunctions, it, its pair can, can uh, take over and increase thrust to compensate for the one that's not firing. Um, and each one is in a protective shell, so if anything goes wrong, it's contained within that, that protective nacelle. Um, this is also get, will be the first uh, fully printed uh, engine. So this is a it, it's printed ink analysis, uh, a special high strength alloy, um, and it'll be yeah like I said the, the the first time that a rocket a printed rocket engine uh, sees flight. And then this is the the propellant tank. This um, a whole series of these spheres uh, are around the perimeter of Dragon V2, and these these are. Also, uh, carbon overwrapped titanium, and uh, and they they feed the uh, Super Draco engines, which are uh, operating. The Super Draco engines are operating at a chamber pressure of about a thousand psi, and and fed from the, these uh, series of, of propellant tanks around the perimeter. Um, and then we also have version three of the the Pika heat shield. So the, the base heat shield um, is the is the third version of our heat shield technology. The first version obviously flew on that uh, version one spacecraft up there. Um, and, uh, and, and we're now about to fly sort of version two and version, version three. Um, and w with, with each one, we're able to make the reusability of the heat shield better. So it, it, it ablates less as it, as it enters, and, and so we're able to get uh, more flights. So that's, uh, that, that's Dragon version two, um, although uh, it'd be nice to go inside. But for that, we will need a comically fast set of stairs. <laughs> And you're looking at Elon Musk in Los Angeles unveiling this new rocket set to carry astronauts if they're successful to space. He's inside right now. It's fascinating to watch him unveil this new so technology. Sitting here, the, <laughs> sitting here in the pilot seat. Pull it down. So the, we've, we've aimed for something with the Dragon uh, version 2 for the interfaces and for the overall aesthetic of something that's very clean, uh, very simple. Uh, and uh, so as, as the pilot, you were able to interact with uh, the, the screens overhead, control the spacecraft, and then we've got all of the critical functions that are needed in an emergency situation as manual buttons. So that's what you see in this area here. Yeah. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> A little unwieldy. <laughs> all right. 